Hi, I'm Michelle Fitzsimmons, Managing Editor at Tech Radar, and I'm here with Peter Lehman, the Chief Engineer of the F-015 Luxury in Motion, uh, Mercedes autonomous driving car. Uh, Peter, I wanted to ask if you could uh, let us know what Mercedes thinks is the future of automobiles. Is this it, the self-driving uh, trend? Yes, we think so. So this car is uh, made not uh, to prove that we can drive autonomously, but uh, how can it uh, driving autonomously in year 2030? So in 15 years, uh, we think that autonomous driving is standard. And so uh, you can drive uh, in a really uh, luxury surrounding. So you have time, you have to drive in jam. So you have room, space, and it's really very comfortable, we think, in such an interior. That was the idea of the car. And can you talk a little bit about what lets the car drive autonomously, the different sensors and uh, cameras that are involved in the car so you don't have to pay attention when you're driving as much? One topic uh, will be by autonomous driving that the car had to communicate uh, with the surrounding, for example, with the pedestrians. Normally, if you drive car and a pedestrian want to cross the road, uh, so the car driver will signal to the pedestrian, okay, go ahead and so this function will be the car in future so we have car communication with the pedestrian and uh, we say please go ahead then he can cross uh, the road and we have also um, halts like a zebra crossing for this to make this and also we have signals uh, for the for the for the car behind of the fo15 so he know or there is a crossing of a pedestrian or of a child in front of the car and um what since this is a concept car what does mercedes hope to learn for future autonomous driving vehicles from the f015 i think uh, it's a lot because uh, how to how to work in the car how to um, make video conference in the car how to interact with the car, the HMI system, the human machine interface uh, from the person, from the conductor to, to, the, to the car. So uh, in our opinion, it's not the driver in future. We call it conductor, but the conductor can be the driver here, but also it can give the, the option to another person, so the, the other person is the conductor, not the, the driver on the driver's seat here. So it's uh, new possibilities and new freedoms. I mean, since you're the chief engineer, what was the biggest challenge for you in, in designing the car? Was there already knowledge in place for Mercedes to be able to make this vehicle, or did you have to start from scratch? How did you come, go about the process of designing this vehicle? Well, the biggest challenge is you have a lot of technologies integrated in the car, and you have uh, not so much room, so you have a package problem. Um, for example, uh, to turn or to turn the, the seats, mm -hmm. so you have really comfortable seats, like long seats, but the seats had to turn totally uh, 360 degrees, so you have normally collisions with the car or collisions with, with, with the other seat. Mm -hmm. So it's really tricky that you have sensors um, to make this, and uh, I think we had to find a really good solution. Another challenge was the steering wheel. You can drive with the car, normal, but uh, in this mode the steering wheel is integrated in the dashboard, so you have to manage that the steering wheel has a mechanical connection to the wheels in the, um, in the uh, manual function, but in this function, there's no connection to the wheel, so it's really tricky. And this is a really cool vehicle. When do you think uh, we'll see it on the street, and how much <laughs> will it cost when it actually uh, is available, if at all? So we think uh, the idea of this car will be reality around about in 2030. This car will not come directly in this uh, in this manner in uh, in the in future in 2030, and uh, so. You can't know <laughs> what the costs will be in 2030. <laughs> uh, thank you, Peter. And for more on the F-015 Luxury in Motion and Autonomous Driving Car News, check out techradar.com.